Yeah, my name is Stephen Twyrold and um, I'm the President and Chief Executive Officer of Excelsior Mining Corp. So we're listed on the Toronto Venture Exchange, our, our symbol is MIN. We're also listed on the uh, OTCQX in the US and on uh, Frankfurt Exchange. And uh, we've got an office in Vancouver, but uh, I'm actually based in Phoenix, in Arizona. Our flagship project, it's, uh, it's called the Gunnison Copper Project. It's about four billion pounds of copper oxide, and it's in Arizona, down in the southeast corner. Um, we're gonna do what's called in situ mining of that project to extract this, uh, this copper oxide. And what's neat about that, it's, it's like the most environmentally friendly way you could possibly mine copper. So we're really excited by that. Arizona is actually the, the biggest copper producer in the US. It's got a long mining history, goes back you know, over 100 years. Um, so all the big guys are down there. It's got a mining culture down in Arizona. We're in a little county called uh, Cochise County down in the southeast. And we love being in Cochise County. Like the population of Cochise County is about 150,000 people. Um, and they're really good support from the community, good support from the, uh, from the council members and from our representatives in the state. And it's like a rural mining district. So there's a lot of you know, people to access for workforce. We've got uh, infrastructure right next to us. We're like uh, about a mile or a, or a kilometer from the main freeway exit. And we're about sort of four kilometers from rail. And we've got power, we've got water. So we've got everything ready to go. What's exciting about Excelsior is this massive copper oxide resource. You know, I'm, I'm a geologist. Um, I've seen a lot of deposits in my life. Um, this is really big. So four billion pounds of copper oxide in the ground. So you know, if we can extract uh, that copper oxide at under a dollar a pound, and we've done a preliminary economic assessment, and that shows that we can mine this for around about 70 cents a pound, and we can produce maybe 80 million pounds, 85 million pounds of copper a year, and do that for 20 years. So that's a, that's a huge amount of cash generation from that project. And we can do that with probably one of the lowest capital costs to start up. So you know, that makes us really excited about moving the project forward and, um, and that's what our investors are looking for. We've not long finished our preliminary economic assessment. Last year we did a lot of drilling, hydrology, metallurgy, a lot of technical work. All that's going into a pre-feasibility study. So the pre-feasibility study is going to be out sometime around July, plus or minus. Um, and so that will be a sort of a game changer for us. It's going to look really good. And you know, that's a big, a big milestone, if you like, for, uh, for investors to look forward to. Any investor, I think they've really got to look at the quality of the management team and the quality of the asset. Like, you know, there's a lot of companies out there and it's really hard to wade through them to see you know, where, where the real gems are in all of that. Um, I would be looking for, if I was an investor, a big asset that can mine at very, very low cost. You know, we don't know what the copper price is gonna do going forward. So under any circumstance, you know, any copper price you wanna predict going forward, our project's gonna be economic. So that's important. You know, insulate yourself from the swings in the, uh, in the prices of metals. And as I said, big project, really experienced management team, preferably one that's got a track record that has bought mines into production before. Um, our management team have done that before where we've actually taken things from an early stage and got them into production. So that's important, I think.